What's up you guys, it's Deepoy and today I'm going to show you how to create this powerful text portrait effect in Photoshop. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So let's first start by creating a new document so for that go to file and then select the option as new and then you can set the width and height accordingly or else you can set it as follows width as around 1920 pixels height as around 1080 pixels and then set the resolution as 300 pixels per inch and then click on create. Now the next thing we need to do is bring in our model image so for that go to file and then select the option as place embedded. After that you can select any model image of your choice, download link for the model image I am choosing is in the description below and then click on option place. Now over here you can scale up or scale down the image if you want to but for this image I don't feel the need to so I am keeping the size as same. After that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it. And now we only need to keep the face of the model and hide the rest of the image so for that select quick selection tool and then using quick selection tool you can make the selection of the face as follows. You can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard. So now let me just make a selection. Now if you want to deselect a selection then all you need to do is click on this minus brush icon and then using the brush you can hover over the areas where you want to deselect the selection. And then again if you want to select something then all you need to do is click on this plus brush icon and then repeat the same steps. So now as you can see we have our selection but near the edges of the hair and the beard we still need to get a proper selection so for that select the option as select and mask. Now in the pop up you need to select the refine edge brush tool and then you can set the view as on white. After that you can set the opacity to 100% as well. Now using the refine edge brush tool you need to hover over the edges as follows. So for that let me just zoom in a little bit. So now we have a proper selection of the edges of the hair and the beard. After that you can click on OK. So once the final selection is ready, after that you need to click on add layer mask icon which will keep the only contents of the image which is inside of the selection and hide the rest of the image. So now over here we only have the face of the model, now after that we need to create a duplicate of this image. So for that press ctrl or command on mac plus j and then let's rename this layer as follows. After that you can hide the backup layer by clicking on the icon and then make the face layer active by clicking on it. Now we need to bring up the ruler tool and if it is not present in your workspace then all you need to do is press ctrl or command on mac plus r which will bring up the ruler tool. After that you need to drag a line from the vertical ruler as follows and now you need to place this line at the center of the face as follows. So now I think this place is looking perfect for this line after that you can release the line over here. Now we need to hide the portion of the face which is to the left of this line so for that select rectangular marquee tool. Now using the rectangular marquee tool you need to make the selection as follows now over here you need to make sure that the edge of the selection touches the line. So now I think this selection is looking proper after that you need to make the mask of the face layer active by clicking on it. So as you can see this white square box is on the mask right now that means it is active. After that you need to right click inside of the selection and then select the option as fill and then you can set the contents as black and then click on ok. So now as you can see now that portion of the face which was inside of the selection is no more visible. Now after that you need to press ctrl or command on mac plus d in order to hide this selection. Now we need to remove this line as well so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus h. Now the next thing we will be doing is filling the left portion of the face with that of the text so for that select horizontal type tool. And then you can select any font of your choice, download link for the font I am choosing is in the description below. Also if you don't know how to install font in photoshop the link for that is in the description as well. And then you can set any appropriate size for your text, I am setting it to 27 point. And then you need to click on right align text icon, after that you need to click on toggle character panel icon. And then you can set the spacing between two lines as 21 point or else you can set it as accordingly. After that let me just close this pop up. And then you need to set the foreground color as any color of your choice anyways we are going to change it later on so I am setting the color as black for now and then you can click on ok. After that you need to drag the type tool and create a text box as follows. And then you can type any text of your choice so let me just copy paste a quote. Now let me just place this text properly so that we fill up the entire face. 
So now our text is looking proper. After that, you can click on the stick icon in order to place it. And then using the move tool, you can place this text properly. You can keep this much spacing between the face and the text so that it looks more proper. Now after that, we need to fill this text with that of the face image. So for that, make the backup layer active by clicking on it. And then we need to create a duplicate of it by pressing Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. And then we need to disable the layer mask. So for that, right click on the layer mask and then select the option as disable layer mask. After that, we need to drag this layer at the top and then unhide it by clicking on the icon. After that, we need to create a clipping mask. So for that, right click on the layer and then select the option as create clipping mask. So now as you can see now our text has been filled with that of the image. Now after that, again using move tool, if you want to, you can place the text properly. So let me just do that. So now it is looking proper. Now the next thing we will be doing is filling this thing with a nice background. So for that, make the background layer active by clicking on it and then click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as gradient. After that, you can click on the gradient icon, which will give you a pop up in order to select the gradient. Now over here, we will be creating a custom gradient. So for that, select the gradient as black and white and then double click on the left bottom color stop, which will give you a pop up in order to set the color and then set the color as follows 8, 5, F9 D2 and then click on OK. After that double click on the right bottom color stop and then set the color as follows 4C 077 B and then click on OK. After that you can click on OK and then you can set the style as radial, angle as 90 degree and then you can set the scale as 500% and then you can click on OK. So now as you can see now we have a nice background after that let's enhance the colors of the image a little bit so for that make the top layer active by clicking on it and then press shift and then click on the face layer which will give you the selection of the two layers as well as give you the selection of all the layers in between and then you can press ctrl or command on mac plus g which will place the three selected layers into a single group and then click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as vibrance. After that you can click on create clipping mask icon so that it only affects one layer below it and not the background layer. And then you can set the vibrance to around 75. Now let me just show you the before and after of this vibrance layer. So for that clicking on the icon. So this was the before and now this is the after. So as you can see it gives such a nice subtle touch to this image. Now after that again click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as brightness and contrast. After that again click on create clipping mask icon and then you can set the contrast to around 25. Now let me show you the before and after of this effect. So this was the before and now this is the after. So now this is looking proper. Now the last thing we need to do is add a shadow at the bottom. So for that make the gradient fill layer active by clicking on it and then create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon and then select brush tool and then you can set the brush as soft brown. Now for brush tool as well, you can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard. Now using the brush tool, you just need to dab on the document as follows. After that, you need to press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus T in order to scale this image. And then press Shift and then drag from the top as follows. So now this much scaling is looking proper. Now after that, you need to place the shadow at the bottom of this face as follows. So once it looks proper, after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now we need to reduce the opacity of this shadow layer to 50% so let me just do that. So yeah that's it guys that's the final image I hope you guys like this video on how to create this text portrait effect in photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up it helps the youtube algorithm in spreading the video also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop thanks for watching bye bye.